Hey everybody, let's do a fabric haul today. I haven't done this in a while and it is now officially half point of the year and I feel like that is often the time where I need to take a break, which I've done. And now I feel like because it is August and we're soon, sadly but soon, heading into fall autumn season, I want to show you the new fabrics that I got and the kinds of things that I'm thinking of making with them. Last time I did something like this was I think in January when I did the Liberty sample sale haul and you really liked that, so let's do another one. Today, I have a big stack of fabrics right here. All of them are new, except two that I have had in my stash for a while, but I am planning to use them very soon, so I'm gonna show you those as well. And I don't think you've ever seen them, so yeah. Let's start with the most summery one first, because I feel like I will have to make that into something very soon, because otherwise, you know, summer's over, and then I'm not gonna wear white Sonora stretch linen anymore, which is what this is. I already sanferized this, which means that I washed it to make sure that any shrinkage is already taken out of the fabric, and I can go ahead and sew something with it. This is, like I said, Sonora stretch linen, so it does have a bit of a stretch to it. It behaves quite differently than um, normal linen, in that it just feels different, but it does have the look of classic linen, which I appreciate about this. So what I'm planning to make with this is actually just a waistcoat. Because I made a waistcoat last year that, after wearing it a couple of times, changed its shape quite dramatically and it started to gape quite drastically around the neckline. And I want to make a new waistcoat where I try to optimize the pattern to make something that's really well fitted. And because I've already sanferized the fabric, I'm hoping that it's not going to change its shape too much. So that's the first thing I'm going to work with. Not too much to be said about it. With boring, bland, it's white Sonora linen, so... On to the next one. After I came back from my summer break that I spent with family at home, I was in a mood to buy fabrics. So I did a big order at Fabric Godmother, which is a UK-based company that I am actually also an ambassador for. And if you've been around this channel, you know that I really love their options and their offering. They do have a lot of dead soap fabrics, which is a great sustainable choice when sewing. So I went on a bit of a shopping trip on their website and got a few things. So let me show you what those are. The first one is this beautiful rust colored Tenzel twill and it has this like dusty brushed quality to it, which I think is really, really nice. This is something that feels so good and looks so refined and I'm so afraid <laughs> of what it's going to look like after you've worn it a couple of times. Also, I need to make sure I don't get any stains on this when I wear it out because I think that the dusty quality kind of goes away after you wash it. Anyway, I want to try making something with this. This would lend itself beautifully to any type of blouse shirt or blouse dress. So I'm planning to make a nice button-up cap sleeved type dress with this. Something very simple, buttons all the way down. That's the plan for this one. I'm thinking of doing this relatively soon, but I know that there are other things that I need to do first based on, you know some going-ons in the background, so this might have to wait a little bit, but I love the quality of this. It's really, really beautiful and nice. This was 18 pounds a meter. Sadly, it's out of stock at Fabric Godmother, but Tenzel Twill is something that you can get in most shops. I actually recently did a poll for you guys on Instagram where I asked what it is that you would like to see me make soon or next and a lot of you mentioned those like French girl brands. Cezanne, Rouge, Reformation, which is not French, but also has this French curl chic and that's why I specifically looked for fabrics that I feel like fall into this category and would lend themselves nicely to that type of design. So the first one that I got is this viscose crepe in this beautiful Bordeaux color. Feels so nice to the touch, has a beautiful drape to it and it has this quite subtle abstract floral pattern on it. I wouldn't even say that this is floral, it's more like petals I guess. And I'm also working on working out a color palette for myself. <laughs> I've for a long time been struggling with understanding my personal color palette, you know, what kind of like color family I fall into. At the moment, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this, I've landed on soft autumn. I think I'm a soft autumn, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what my current state of understanding is. And I think that this dark Bordeaux color lends itself nicely for that color palette and it hopefully brings out my features nicely. So this one is going to be used for a ultimate Reformation Cezanne Rouge type 
design dress. So keep your eyes peeled for that, coming soon hopefully. The next one falls into the same category. This is definitely a floral and I'm not entirely sure if this is a good fit for a soft autumn, but I think I can make it work. This is a viscose crepe, beautiful drape, beautiful weight as well. I really like what this is doing when it's just falling and I love the combination of pink and red. Always have, always will. My Ophelia silk version dress that was very popular earlier this year also has this combination of pink and red and so does this. I mean, if you look at the branding of my channel, it's a bit of a giveaway that I like pink and red. <laughs> so that's one of the fabrics that I got. Really love this. This is also going to become a dress, potentially maybe a wrap dress, and potentially maybe I'm gonna work on the pattern for this to be sold on my Etsy shop. By the way, this is actually something I've been working on for a while now. I'm gonna upload hopefully more patterns to my Etsy shop soon. I'm just in the conceptualization phase and uh, I will need testers again. So if you're interested in me vlogging that process, please let me know in the comments. I've done this earlier this year, so if you would like to see something like this again, let me know. The last new fabric godmother fabric in my stash is this one. This is a viscose Echo Vero satin and I actually bought this exact same print which is an original fabric godmother print in a green and pink version. I think this must be two years ago now and I made a rep dress from it and I have been thinking about getting the black version of this for a while now and I finally did. And I do have a very, very nice idea for this and it's gonna fall more into the fall, autumn, winter season, but it's gonna be, I think, a beautiful, elegant, midi, long sleeve dress. Potentially also a pattern that's gonna go on to my shop, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Lastly, I have a Fabric Godmother fabric here that has, has actually been sent to me as a gift, you could call it. Like I said, I am a Fabric Godmother ambassador and whenever they have new fabrics coming to their site, they um, send out a request to their ambassadors and ask them to make something with the new fabrics. And this is one of them. This to me really also very much falls into this French girl, French dress aesthetic. I can see this being made into a really nice wrap dress as well. I like the vintageness of this with the polka dots and the flowers. This could really be something that is reminiscent of the 1960s, 1950s. I need to have that done by October 1st, so that's when you will see this by. Okay, now, one of the fabrics that I've had in my stash for a while and I want to make into something soon is this lemon um, canvas. I would say it's a canvas fabric, a cotton canvas. Quite stiff. I think I bought this thinking I would make trousers of it, which I'm now recoiling at that idea <laughs> to make lemon trousers. I don't know where I would ever wear this. But if you remember this dress that I'm wearing right now, which I made um, in my first de-stashing video in May, I'm thinking about, or I'm working on, creating this as a sellable pattern for my Etsy shop. And this is the fabric that I'm thinking of using for the tutorial video. I think this very simple, very vintage 1950s design could look very cute in the lemon print. So that's what I'm gonna be using this for. I need to check how much I actually have of this, but that's the plan anyways. Okay, so that's all the Fabric Godmother fabrics sorted. And now I have something <laughs> that was a impulse purchase and I bought it at a place that is not necessarily a place that you would usually buy dress fabrics at. This cotton, I don't know actually what I would call this. It's denim reminiscent but it's cotton and it has this beautiful chevron print on it. I bought at Ikea. This is a curtain <laughs> and I have two of these. So I have plenty of fabric. This is two meters 50 times at least 160 centimeters. So I have five meters of fabric, which is loads. I could make multiple things with this and I haven't yet fully decided on what I want to make. There's one thing I know I want to do, which is like uh, a short sleeved boxy cut shirt jacket. I guess that's what you would call it. As seen here on Alana Rama, I think is her name. That's the inspiration. So I'm definitely gonna make this with this fabric. Probably I'm gonna make a pair of culottes to accompany the shirt. And then I could probably still make a shirt for my boyfriend out of this, because I have so much fabric. This is definitely also a fall autumn season make. And the very last thing that is something that I bought on a, in a shop on Gold Talk Road here in London that I think you haven't seen yet is this denim-esque polyester. And this I think I'm gonna use to make the same button-up cap size A-line dress that I wanna make with Tenzel Twill. Because if I want to make this into a pattern for my Etsy shop, it's always good to make it at least twice. And this I think could look really cute for that design as well. Okay, so those were nine fabrics that I have now 
on my to-do list for the foreseeable future. Let me know which of those you're most excited about. Also, let me know if you would be keen on seeing the design block coming back to life where I work on creating and producing my sewing patterns. And that is it for today. I see you soon. Bye. Thank you.